Sunlight simulation alarm clocks have been around for many years now, but it's only in the past few months that we've seen this technology incorporated into lower cost and more generic electronics that lowers the threshold and the price for picking one up. Hey folks, your OS Reviews, you're watching our video first look at another version of the sunlight simulation clock that we reviewed a few months back. This one just improves on the aesthetics mostly. You can see that it's a slightly more sleek and it has this chrome accent on the base that makes it seem more expensive despite the fact that it still retails for under 50 bucks. It acts as a regular alarm clock. You can use the lights for mood lighting in a room, for reading, and just like the name suggests, as you get closer to your alarm time, the, the lights get brighter and brighter and that is similar to the sun rising in your room. And that supposedly wakes you up with more energy and again provides another sense of stimuli uh, than just sound which some people may struggle with uh, waking up if they only hear a beeping sound. Uh, otherwise this version comes with an FM radio as well and it uses LED technology for the clock as well as the display and you can see that compared to the first gen model this one is definitely slimmer uh, and the material choice has been upgraded and the price point is still about the same. So this is another fairly generic uh, build and design. It's sold by various vendors under various uh, slightly modified names, but the main concept is the same. This is again the second generation or the third generation model uh, in terms of the design. There is a standard micro USB port for charging and this is a, a standard AC adapter for providing power. Inside there is a quick start guide which is documented in black and white and in here there is the clock itself. And that's it. So setting these things off to the side and taking a look just at the clock, uh, we can see that in terms of size, it is very similar to the original. Uh, one thing that I am noticing immediately though is that the part that has the LED glow for the sunlight um, is almost like a halogen bulb in the sense that it has this really round and protruded, almost a curved uh, design elements, so it does definitely look sleeker and more expensive than that original model we've seen. In terms of material choice, it's a fusion between plastic and also some acrylic transparent uh, edges that makes the glow effect more apparent, and there's also aluminum and steel on the base, so for sure it looks better and it seems like a more classy design. All the controls can be found on the top, you can see which are rounded off, and they include an easy to tap snooze key. Uh, these are no longer touch sensitive by the way, they're physical keys so that they have a tactile sensation, uh, unlike the original version. There are standard volume toggles and there's also FM radio mode that uses this little antenna to play back some music when you want to, or you can use the radio to wake you up as an alarm, which is pretty cool. You can cycle through a few different preset uh, sounds as well, they include basic nature sounds such as water fall, there's thunderstorms, stuff like that that uh, uses nature to get you to wake up or calm down and fall asleep. Over here there's uh, some additional modes for the brightness control of the light and the display and some contrast modes. These controls on the front here which uh, have very similar functions are touch sensitive now uh, so they are capacitive and again we can have uh, volume adjustments, we can set an alarm here uh, and also a sleeping alarm as well. So you can do the same thing where sunset simulation which is a new feature uh, that means that the light gets dimmer and dimmer as you fall asleep to simulate the sun setting so that's pretty cool. Setup process is pretty quick. When you plug it in, it starts to flash. That means that you can set the time uh, and date immediately just by tapping on these controls. There are capacitive sensors, which are actually fairly responsive. You can see that there is a small LED underneath the keys. And what that means is that when you tap on one, it gives you a confirmation that you've actually tapped on the button correctly. You can change between 12 or 24 hour modes. And you can tell that the display here really is quite bright since it's using LED technology on screen, it's uh, very energy efficient and at the same time there are no viewing angle issues. In the dark it remains quite visible and easy to read. Um, otherwise, uh, I, we can take a quick look at some of the other features. On the back, one thing I wanted to mention is that uh, there is a cell-based battery, a CR2032 battery, that's used for backup. That means that when you are unplugged from power, it can still save the time information for a while before you plug in power again. However, unlike the first generation model, there is no option to plug in standard batteries like AA or AAA batteries to power the entire thing. You do need to be plugged into the micro USB port 
port at all times, but at least that is a standard port that's used. One other thing I wanted to point out is that the speaker is mounted on the back, as you can see here, as opposed to being on the front. So arguably it isn't the loudest uh, alarm clock in the world, but then again, it really is a beautiful design. It's uh, loud enough for most people, and because it has that light as well, uh, that combination should be sufficient for waking you up without any problems. So again, the glow here is very faint, and you can see that if we turn off the lights, it remains a pretty warm glow, almost like candle light, uh, that makes it nice and comfortable, also for reading, stuff like that. Buttons here, easy to tap on, no complaints there. You can tap on this key on the top here to turn the display on the face here completely off, tapping on it again to turn it on, or to change the brightness for that. So there's two modes and the brightness can then be controlled using the plus and minus keys on screen. So you can see that this is as bright as it gets, uh, very bright and definitely fills up a room without any problems as far as a reading and using it as kind of a mood lighting set. So right now we have all the lights off in the room and if we present a documentation or like a piece of paper, you can see that it's definitely visible and good enough to use as a reading lamp in the dark. Let's turn it off uh, or get it less bright. I can also tap and hold for a smoother action. And I can change the color by tapping on this again. It starts off at green, but then cycles through reds, blues, magentas, and then goes back into that kind of gentle white glow. So you get a few nice custom and playful colors that you can cycle through for a more funky look. So here are the sounds that you can select from. So that's it. So you can hear from that uh, quick clip there that the takeaway is that there are a few kind of nature sounds, including water, as aforementioned, and birds chirping. The other ones are more melodic, and of course there's a standard beeping if you want to uh, use that. Uh, you can also of course use this for FM radio. Reception quality is decent, although the antenna does have to be at a elevated position if you do want the best uh, quality, maybe near a window. And the thing about the speaker though is it's a mono speaker and it's definitely tinny as you heard. Uh, so if you are really using this for you know listening exclusively to radio music or stuff like that, it's not going to be the best choice just because the speaker here isn't the highest quality. But you know it works if you're listening to news or using it as a way to wake you up in the morning that is another feature that you can set other things that you can go through and program including the amount of time that it takes before the sunlight uh, mode comes on so you can set it at 30 minutes or an hour stuff like that or 15 minutes where it slowly comes on before uh, you know, 15 minutes before your alarm rings, stuff like that. So those are also uh, other features that you can play around with just by playing with the interface. And for the most part, it's pretty intuitive and easy to set up. So as a whole, that's a quick look at the updated or third generation model of the fairly generic Sunrise Simulation Alarm Clock. I have to say that I like this a lot more than the first gen variant, even though the feature set is mainly the same, uh, just because the construction quality makes it look a lot more high-end and elegant. I like the acrylic plastic that makes the glow more apparent. I like the fact that it has aluminum accents on the sides, uh, but there are still a few cons, such as the speaker quality could be better, it could be front-facing, uh, and the fact that I would have liked to see the presence of the battery compartment instead of only being powered through my micro USB so that you can take it with you when traveling or rely on batteries instead if you want to go that route. So anyways guys, it's been a quick look at this alarm clock. You can check out more details in the links down below. But for now, this has been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews.